Hi, and welcome to my tutorial for the mod No Water, No Life. This video will guide you through the content of the mod, how to play with it, how to jiggle around with it, and how to have fun with it. If you like this kind of content, drop this channel a subscription and don't miss a thing in the future. So to begin with, I've set up a little example colony, just uh, cheated myself up to have everything all the research is completed, I have resources, but for the sake of the tutorial I felt like this was a really really uh, good thing to do. So the mod enables a need for water, that's the basic functionality of the mod. It also adds up some technologies and uh, items and resources you can use to fetch that water and it basically adds a new mini game on the, well, the water needs of your colony. So you can do that by following some primitive technologies and going into more modern technologies. I'm going to talk about the functionalities in a ascending order in forms of technology, so we're going to end up with the high-tech stuff at the end of the video. So first off, we need water. There are like three basic ways to gather, to gather water. You can either draw water from a water spot. This can be either be set up on water tiles like these, or marsh tiles. I don't know if I have any right now, but we're going to set up the water drawing spot here to uh, demonstrate it. There's also ice harvesting spots. Well, since there is no ice right now on the map, I can't use that, but it's easy to explain later. And there are also wells. Wells, when you select them, you see these uh, wonderful patches here, and these are the spots where you can gather water from. We're going to build a well here. Um, to show the functionality of this one as well and that covers up the basics on how you can gather water in the primitive technology age. Um, we're going to uh, turn off the pause for a moment and uh, let my colonists build that well here and get to the next chapter. So you see here um, water is now some kind of uh, item you live from and that's something we need to gather. So I'm going to fetch the other guy here um, and set up a bill to draw water at this spot. Let's uh, go for the batch one. I would say we're going to make this until we have 10. Drawing water is also a new job enabled by um, the mod. So we're going to set up Duarte to do that and well, and let's see what will happen next. Of course, the well takes a moment to be built. A few work units are necessary. Getting a bunch of visitor, visitors doesn't matter to me. So here comes the well. Here we can also uh, draw water from underground. So that's, going, that's what we're going to do now. And as we see here now, we have produced our first water. Water is now considered as raw water. Um, there's also ice <laughs> gathering up here in the freezer, and we can use that later. But raw water doesn't sound like something you want to drink. You can drink it. Sadly, the description isn't there. Um, it will fill up your water needs, but it is not ideal. I think you'll get uh, ill from that at some point, but I haven't tried that out because I'm no barbarian. I like my people drinking uh, good water. And to do good water, you need the filtration, the, the water purifier um, thingies. So these are the machines you need to do that manually. You can do that either with a wood fuel source or electric fuel source. Since we have the electricity we need, we're going to set up an electric one. And that's the place where we're going to refine that water. So there goes. Here we set up a bill, and you can here set up bills for filtering water, boiling raw water, percolate mud water, that's what you get when you uh, harvest water from marshy soil, desalinate seawater, that's what you get when you um, gather water from a shoreline, and the same for batch productions. You can also bottle snow, but since we have no snow, I can't demonstrate that right now. So we're going to boil raw water, and we're going to do that forever because we don't want anybody to drink that raw water. But there's another thing afterwards that can be done. Let's, um, let's check that out in a sec. So let's force, well, Duarte is already on it. So Duarte is now boiling raw water and he's producing clean water. 
that's the, just the uh, basic water. I just noticed that this was silly. We want, of course, the batch, uh, the batch production. All right. So let's speed up this a little bit. And sadly, it's night. But well, what can I do? So we now have ice made of out of water and raw water. Basically, uh, all the water turns into ice once it's long enough in the freezer. I didn't realize that. So the game still pays attention to what kind of water it is. It's either either raw or clean water. But there's another state of water I want to talk about. Uh, well, Nelly is already back on her feet, so I'm going to order her to do this. So she's picking up now the raw water and boils it up like we ordered her to do so. And there we go. Stuff is going to freeze in a few minutes. But there's another thing. She's now filtering that water. Filtering water needs wood as an extra resource. And out comes filtered water. Filtered uh, clear water has really not much uh, benefit except for one thing. She drinks that and she gets a uh, nice buff for plus five for 12 hours. That's what you can do with clean water. So this is the basic, um, oops, that was the wrong button, I'm sorry. Let's wait a second. That's the basic gameplay loop around the water here. You can either gather uh, underground water with wells or go for, and you can go for the clearing water technology here. I think you can also drink raw water. Well, I haven't tested it out, but I sh I'm pretty sure that at some point you would uh, you you should get ill or something. I, I'm not sure how this will work out. Let's try it out. Some so ice takes longer to consume. Probably don't want to um, store your water um, where it can freeze, but at the same time it has a um, expiration date. So. You see here, there's no downside to uh, to raw water, which makes me guess that you're um, risking some kind of food poisoning there. So, if you don't want to have frozen water, I guess you can just uh, store it somewhere else. Like here, there's an extra um, tab for H2O, and we can also store all the H2O in here. Let's do this for the sake of the example. All right, so these two technologies bring you the most easy ways. This is all manual work. With the waterworks technology, we start to automate things. We get a groundwater pump, we get a water tank, and we get pipes and faucets. So let's set this up real quick. Um, when you go for a groundwater pump, it needs a river, a lake, a pond, or something like that. Basically, groundwater uh, pumps go in here, whereas the underground water pump goes for uh, the shallow water, which also is the access for the wells. And there's also a deep water pump, but well, that's ba that's later technology. We're going to talk about that later. So for now, we're going to install one of those right next to our fountain. Boom. So that's going to be the start of the chain. Let's do that real quick. Oh, I forgot to make myself some components. Wait a sec. So we're going to craft ourselves some, some dev mode components. There we go. So here you have the underground water pump. It needs some power and it pumps out some water. We're going to connect this now with a water tank and some water pipe. And now the basic storage uh, process is working out as we want it to. We can now put up faucets and that's the place where your colonists can uh, grab their water from. So let's do this. Build that faucet too. Oh no, there's a mad squirrel. Um, I should better assign them to attack. And also, I'm 
let me get rid of this problem real quick. All right. I am well aware that there's a neuro neurotrainer right next to me. So we're here having now the steel faucet and here you can also just draw water from the waterworks. The faucet gives you the ability to uh, do the same thing you did with the other uh, with the other methods here, but you can you're having the freedom to determine where you want to pump out that water. So that's the that's the game there. So So why doesn't it get connected to the water tank? Let's check out if this is a little bit iffy here. This should have worked, but uh, for some reason... Ah, silly me. So the input here to the faucet is uh, on this side. I just uh, had a uh, wrong perspective on that. Here you see, out of, out of the faucet, now we can pump the uh, raw water directly. But since we don't want to uh, have raw water forever, there's also ways to automate that. But basically with this technology here, with the waterworks, we're able to um, redirect water where we want to have it and store larger amounts of water at the same time. And well, I could have built that faucet right here, basically, next to the uh, refining place. You still need to refine the water, but we're going to get to that with the next technologies. So the water filter technology is where the things get really funny. So if you have the water filter technology enabled, you can do even, even funnier things. So let's deconstruct that stuff here. And this is where I really started to like this game, uh, this mod. Um, with this technology, we get dirty water filters and clear water filters. So it this converts raw water to normal water. So basically we can just uh, plop that here, connect it with the pipes and um, let's wait until it is installed before I keep talking. No, 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 you're, you're not, you're not sleeping now. We have, we really have uh, things to do, friends. So. Let's build another water tank over here to demonstrate it a little bit better. something I was asking myself. You see here, these uh, things can also uh, share their um, tile, but you see here I did a, a bad mistake with the direction here. So the direction here is wrong, the arrow is uh, pointing into the wrong uh, direction, so be smarter than me. You have to point the direction, the arrow into the right direction, which is, which is a little bit uncomfortable to begin with, but you get used to it. I have the feeling like this mod needs a little bit of refinement here and there, but basically it's really awesome. So now you see a one of these filters tackles like 15 liters a day. So we could also start to do funny things like these, where we um, set up extra um, cleaners on this. Let's do this real quick. Well, there we go. So this way we're increasing the output of that a little bit more. And now to finish this wonderful uh, chain, there's a clear water filter here. Boom, and we're going to let that end in a faucet. And there we go.
And this way, we're having here a uh, ability, a capability to just uh, get our clean water directly out of a faucet. This uh, skips the... Oops, huh, my bad. We need to install a tank in between, of course. So, there we go. Um, this installation would skip the... Uh, would skip the necessity of the water purifier completely. So, And this is uh, almost it. You're having also access to a watering facility, so you can set up either sprinklers for extinguishing uh, purposes. Let's uh, set that up here. So put one here, it's a good example. And of course, that extinguisher uh, needs to uh, be connected with water. At least I always did that. I never tried if an extinguisher without water would work. I would be really, really happy if anybody having a little bit more um, experience with uh, ideas like these, giving me an info on that, because that's seriously a question I keep asking myself. But I, I always do do it because I don't want to uh, lose my uh, stuff here to fire. And the other thing you can do is um, there's a sprinkler for rowing. Let's do that as well. Like I said, I'm not really sure if these uh, really need a water connection or not, but uh, let's check it out. That's the one thing I'm not sure about, because sadly there's no readout on the mod whatsoever. But yeah, now we have a uh, proper functioning way of clearing water. And you see here you need to uh, set up some ratios and do things with that, but well, it might not be uh, really beautiful, but it's a working uh, plan that shows you how to how this all is working. But uh, let's uh, cut that grass. And I really think it's not hard. I really like the uh, functionalities of the mod a lot. And if you're asking yourself if this is compatible with Dub's Bad Hygiene, yes, it is. Although there's one weirdness. The water you generate from the bad hygiene mod, well, you can't drink it. You have to accept that the uh, bad hygiene mod is basically only creating water for um, for hygiene purposes, whereas the this mod is entirely focused around drinkable water. You can enable um, a thirst and drinking water functionality on bad hygiene, but this has not really anything to do with this uh, kind of mod. So I hope this helped you out with uh, your water problems, if you had any. I feel like the documentation on this mod could be a little bit better, but apart from that, it's really fun. It adds up a new um, form of food you have to take care about, and yeah. Feel free to drop me a comment if you have any questions left open, if I explained something poorly or what, uh, whatever might be the case. And see you guys next time. Bye-bye.